impossible. Mm -hmm. Not only do you get the magic of anything right. happening at a house show, and yeah. anything can still happen at a house show, mm -hmm. just because it was aired later, who gives a fuck? Yeah. You were there specifically when it happened, live, yeah. when it happened okay. live. So if it happens on delay a week later, who cares? The right. rest of the world can see it. I saw it first. Right. Okay. So you'll still want to go to the house mm -hmm. show. Not like you're not going to be like, oh, who cares if the title changes hands? Yeah. It's just going to show in a week. You're still there to be the well, first. I didn't to see say it. that was the way it was going to go down, like in in total. But I just I liked the mystique of the holy shit it happened. But there was no mystique because there's uh, camera phones. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know why? I'll be honest with you. Not even yeah. beyond the commercial. You know yeah. why they're showing it? Because the whole match is probably on YouTube on somebody at, on some ass hat. I'm sure it is. Phone. That's probably the main reason behind it. I don't think they were expecting it to be a thing that's going to sell the network. I think they were just like, okay, we need to get it off of fucking YouTube. So this is why. Yeah. Again, they're trying to combat that. I guess. They also could be like, hey, you could see them. Because I saw the commercial. It's like, now see it for yourself. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, I didn't see that. Yeah. Maybe if I'd seen that, I probably wouldn't have said anything. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. I mean, it's still cool. I still want to see the match because I'm sure the match is fucking fantastic. But this was the greatest. This was the greatest mm -hmm. commercial for any house show ever. Yeah, because it, that the title yeah. changed hands. Yeah. So. Yeah. And again, we get to see it tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah. no complaints. And fucking Finn Balor, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Just teasing everything little, left and right. Little cock tease. That <laughs> son of a bitch, man. Like, it's just, it's fucking hilarious. Because now you can't, he's basically made it that you can't trust anything he fucking says. I'll see you Monday. Yeah. No, it won't. No, it won't. Yeah, no. he literally no, said, no, no. in the course of two days, I'll see you Monday. I'm not leaving NXT. Yeah. So what do you mean? What are you doing? But that's the point, right? Yeah, he's fucking with us. He's, he's trolling. I because... believe he'll be there on Sunday. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Right? I'm sure he'll be there. He Sunday. got everyone all jazzed up. Oh, because we're going to watch Raw. I knew he wasn't going to be on fucking Raw. Some I'm like, people there didn't. Is... Yeah, but some people are stupid. Because I'm there's no kidding. fucking way he's debuting on Raw before a pay-per-view. Why not? It's not going to happen. Because what are they going to do with him? I don't know. Hey, the last match mm -hmm. on Raw. We'll yeah. talk about oh, it. Oh, I know. But I know. Finn Balor appears. I know. Oh, my God. What's he doing here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch Watch Sunday. That's yeah, a commercial. I guess, I guess. So but, nah. he was he would have been technically on Raw, he wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, he technically that's true. He even on Raw. just showed up and just couldn't well Christ, you didn't even have to have him, you just had to have the music playing. Yeah, you don't even have to a video. Yeah. Just a video of coming the fucking, on Sunday. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. SmackDown, mm -hmm. Miss T V, yeah. AJ's on it. Mm hmm Solid uh yeah. gimmick. Yeah. Led led to a really good fucking match. It did. Like, we'll get to it, but holy fuck. Yeah. Like, um, AJ really can make anyone fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah he really can. Um, <laughs> mind you, like, I'm coming as at, at that as not hating them is at all. I think that no, he's actually but, a really like, good wrestler, but he, stepped it up. Yeah. You know? Ryback beat Kalisto. And now Ryback's going to fight Kalisto on the oh, kickoff man. for payback. Wow. <laughs> the one thing he complained about. Yeah. Like, I wrestled in front of nobody. That's the WWE's fault yep. and the building's fault yep. for not letting anyone in because mm -hmm. of whatever ticket problems yep. at uh, ATT Park or mm -hmm. Stadium, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but for the second pay-per-view in a row, yeah. he's going to be on the pre-show. Uh-huh. Um, Even if he wins, who cares? No. It's a pre-show belt. Yeah. It That's doesn't unfortunate. matter. Um, unfortunate. Just a waste. Uh, Corbin and Dolph, again, yep. they get into it here, mm -hmm. they get into it. Well, mm -hmm. on SmackDown... Dolph was going to the ring for a match. Corbin yep. stopped him on Raw. Mm -hmm. Corbin was going to the ring match against fucking Damien Sandow. So yeah, uh, which I'm like, fuck you guys. Seriously, don't trot him out for this shit. Although, would you have rather him be squashed in a day's styles in like ten seconds? No, it's better um, that you just saw him and he wasn't squashed than not than see him and get squashed. Actually, uh, the, going before we go uh, go away from it, actually, I thought about the Kalisto thing because I saw something in the in the dirt. of the best matches in the world. Oh, yeah, I was reading that. Apparently, yeah. him and Tyler him Breeze, and Tyler had, Breeze like this had, like, this amazing fucking match. On superstars? On superstars. And it prompted Tyler Breeze to start shitting on people who were shitting on superstars, which I'm like, dude, really? I'm like, first off, yeah. superstars is still a thing? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was a, I didn't know it existed, but apparently it does. Like, I'm aware that main event's still a thing I guess. Yeah, but we stopped covering it because it stopped being what it was supposed to be. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to be main event matches. But I'll be honest with you, from what I'm reading, yeah. okay, I'll try to track down superstars. If it's if it's as good as everyone's saying it is, yeah, I want to see that match. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. Tyler Breeze can fucking go, and, and Kalisto is And maybe fucking... this match will get him out of the doghouse. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe. So AJ does have his match with Miz, and yes. it's really, they gave it time. It is. It wasn't a squash match. Like, mm -hmm. Miz held his own. There was points yeah. where you thought the Miz was going to win. Yeah. Like, it was a fucking really good match. It was a really good, good match. match, yeah. 
uh, Gallows and Anderson come out, and I mm-hmm. think they, they don't help AJ mm-hmm. win. They just kind of distract the Miz long mm-hmm. enough for AJ to win, mm-hmm. and then I liked how the Miz was. See, yeah, I told you. Yeah, <laughs> I was right. I know you all hate me all the time, and I'm usually not even usually wrong, but I'm like this time I was right. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> it was um, great stuff. Dean and Sammy interview mm. arguing who's going what their this team name is going to be. Yeah, it's like I told you it's going to be the Rough Riders. It's like no. that's a stupid name. Yeah. <laughs> My, and then he's like, got that stupid hat and whatever, and then he uh, leaves. I can't remember and what like, he said. He said something. He was like, no, that's way too sexual. I can't remember what it was. but The Rough Riders. No, it wasn't the Rough Riders. Yeah. Because, no, no, because I went after after the Rough Riders. I was like, he said something else because the Rough Riders. I'm like, doesn't that sound sexual to you? Because one of them he said sounded stupid, and the other one he said was too sexual. Yeah. But I thought both of them sounded too sexual, but I'm like, they didn't mention that. He's like, your I name is stupid, you got a stupid hat, and then under his breast, it's like, I'm going to have to like stupid. Hat. And he's like, what was that? Nothing, nothing, I'm coming. coming." (laughs) It was good. It was a good little comedy. They were good. And then The Miz and Shane McMahon have a moment. And is it me, or was that like... Because it's happened before the way we watch SmackDown. Mm, mm, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't it seem like this... I don't know, because again, I don't know if this was on television. It seemed like something that was not supposed to be on TV. Yeah, no, it was was a rough cut, the one we watched. Um, We probably shouldn't even mention it. But yeah, yeah, it was a rough cut that was not... um, And I've seen it a few times. Uh, it is the actual feed that they used to edit for... But the, but the announcers did talk a little bit as Shane was coming down to the ring. They just stopped talking when he got in the ring. Yeah, because I think um, I think we were supposed to see, from what I, I can gather from it, because again, it's really hard to tell. From what I gather, it was when he was walking toward the ring, that was when it was cutting to commercial. So they were talking, 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 and then when he got in the ring, cut to commercial, cut to commercial, and then like... You know, the time was supposed to go, and then when they came back, that's when he talks and all that shit. So I think that, they just kept the cameras rolling when it was supposed to cut to commercial. But yeah, we definitely saw, because I watched the same feed you did, as mm-hmm. apparently, is, yeah, no, that was the rough edit. Because there was a lot of times when, you know, we were seeing the camera running up to the fucking, up the stage, getting ready for the next guy to come out and things like that. So yeah, Interesting. we saw a rough edit. Cool. Which is not the first time I've seen it. Well, Miss and Shane. If you saw it, you saw it. If you didn't, oh. yeah. Uh, Paige and Natty beat Team Bad. Mm, well done there. Yeah, sure. Truth beat Fandango and Goldust was the referee. I don't care. Not in the slightest. Zoe and Cass fought villains. Yeah. Back and uh, forth. Again, just, tag teams back and forth. Yep. It in was ring great. promo. It's great. Uh, I just I just like The Vaud villains it. actually got some fucking mic time. They did. Um, I, I'd like this. Like, uh, they're still going over like a fucking fart in church, but I like it. At least they're giving them something. They're giving a chance to get over, which... Is it going to work? Probably not. Um, I still say we fucking called it the best that they were ever going to get is kidnap Francesca too and tired of the fucking train track. That's what I'm saying. But that's never going to happen. Well, they got to uh, win the tournament first. Well, they, could, they will win. Um, because it's heel versus face. That's how they got to do it. Um, um, I think that's how they're going to do it. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'd, I'd hope because Zoe and Cass clearly don't need it. No. They don't <laughs> They're need, over. Yeah. They don't need a title um, at They don't all, even but, need a chance at the title right now no. because they don't need it. Yeah. They're they're good. But uh, yeah. No. I still say if they win the thing, you need to tie Francesca 2 to the fucking train tracks. That just needs to happen. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. No. They got. They cut legit promos and stuff like that I lo- like like you said I like the raw one much better because mm-hmm. um, Aiden fucking sang to the ring uh, Kevin Owens mm-hmm. Y2J mm-hmm. beat Dean and Sammy in a really fucking good tag team match mm-hmm. this is becoming a thing on like Smackdown. these four guys have been yep. fuck, just destroying it over the last couple weeks I think in again the promos, chances promos like, matches and like this is gonna steal the pay-per-view these this, two matches these four people yeah they're yeah, gonna steal the pay-per-view that's how it's so. gonna work um, cause I mean, fucking Dean Ambrose and Chris Jericho, that's going to be fucking classic. And you know, and uh, everyone's waiting for that one-on-one main roster facing yeah. off of Kevin Owens I mean, and Sammy. A hockey fight abound, man. They're just going to throw haymakers left and right. Which and is what great. I liked with Kevin Owens and YZJ is like, mm. Canada! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no need for that whatsoever, except he just yelled Canada and Jericho just sort of went, oh yeah! I'm like, probably my favorite moment hey, was Jericho not realizing. Hey, let's not fucking forget mm-hmm. the fact that out of these four guys three, three. of them are Canadian uh-huh. two of them might be cheese eating surrender monkey French yeah, thing, but they're in, still they're in the crappier part of Canada which but I'm not trying to they're still Canadian and by the way I'm only fucking around because I'm half French Canadian so just saying so there you go yeah. so between them three and Maurice uh-huh. Canada's doing A-OK in WWE well, Maurice is the best one because she's a cartoon character oh yeah um, she is straight up a caricature of everything yeah um, but yeah 
Cool. Mm. Raw. Yes. So this will be a look at Raw as well as, as a well as the, uh, payback. Yeah, I'm going to call it payback just in case we miss something. So we start with yes. Shane yes. in the ring. Yes. And he's cutting his typical promo and has been cutting. Hey, he is. Thank you guys for everything. And mm-hmm. again, like the last couple weeks, tonight's going to be fresh matchup, new superstars. It's going to be a great night, that type of stuff. He's, yeah. He's, like, it's, it's opening monologue, like he's hosting Saturday Night yeah. Live every week. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then Steph comes out. Yeah. And cuts an amazing promo. Oh, that's interesting. Where she's okay, Hartford's yeah. favorite daughter. <laughs> I'm like, why would you want to be known as her? I mean, I like the whale as much as the next guy. <laughs> wow. You're pulling out the whale, are you? But, you know. Hasn't been a thing for like 20 years. I know. Sure, why not? It's a hockey reference for those not in the know. Yeah. Hartford Whalers. Um, no, they could be hockey fans and still not know that because the team hasn't existed in 20 fucking years. Hey, nobody messes with the whale. <laughs> Everyone does, actually. <laughs> so she pretty much says, you know what? This is all going to be over. Did you know that fucking Payback is sponsored by JCPenney? <laughs> I just I, saw that. I thought it was and sponsored that, by Bootios. <laughs> it's sponsored. No, that's not the not the, the tour. The, the tournament know, is sponsored. I'm... But fucking, the sponsors for Payback are Tap Out and JCPenney. Hey, you got to get the men and the women. I guess. You got to get the Sorry, men that and just the women. Caught men for Tap Out. I'm... Would yeah. be for J.C. Penny, but yeah, no, just that caught my eye as I was looking it up. I was like, J.C. Penny? They and didn't now, even say that on and TV. And now, tap out, and J.C. Penny presents <laughs> WWE Payback. Apparently, anyways, yeah. at Payback, yes. Steph says, "Dad's gonna pick who's running this show yep. going forward. Mm-hmm. Shane's gonna get it mm-hmm. and probably hold on to it mm-hmm. till I'd say SummerSlam, easily. You know why they're doing this, honestly." So people can shut the fuck up. Basically. Yeah. Because it's just like, after WrestleMania happened, yeah. and he's still running Raw, and they're like, oh, but he didn't beat The Undertaker, like, so now, that match meant nothing. Even though, again, yeah, he dropped like, 20 feet off a cage, so that... So, it meant something. It meant um, something. So, don't say nothing yeah. at all. I get what people were going at, because uh-huh. the stip didn't mean nothing. And you're right, it did. Yeah, that's fine. Well, we, we still got a great match out of it. And um, we've gotten great Raws yeah. for the last three weeks. So. And, I mean, he even did it again, something along the lines. I can't remember exactly what the phrase was, but he definitely gave another fucking internet thing of like you know Steph said something against the internet he was pro internet mm-hmm. you're getting everything you want so shut up and leave it alone basically but this will cement that it'll yes. be like alright now the official storyline official canon is mm-hmm. Vince McMahon says Shane is running it yep and that's it Stephanie's gonna cry and leave and we probably won't see authority again until fucking SummerSlam again yeah. hopefully yeah gives them a break yep Gives us Shane. Mm-hmm. Shane might not be there every week, but Shane might in the next couple months maybe mm-hmm. name up and a it GM also, it or also, something. Yeah, which, you know. A I'm, proxy, basically. Mick Foley. I've just never stopped in my head. We need a commissioner. We need Mick Foley to do you it. You know, if you do just, it that way, cool. He's already working with them with Holy Foley. Yeah. It works. He's, it works. He's, you know, he's got stuff to do. Because then he can be like, you can watch Holy Foley right here on the WWE Exactly. Network. And, and again, he can, he can, his office can be in the bathroom again. Like, just, it's. If you're going to do comedy anyway with the stupid truth and gold dust bullshit, at least give it to Mick Foley because he can make it funny. Yeah. So, um, that's all yeah, I'm the, saying. Yeah, and, and else. Excuse for them to try something different without losing face. That's you know all. what I mean? That's all. Yeah. That's what I'm expecting to happen Simple on Sunday. Move. Yep. AJ and Chamus. Yep. Solid match. Mm-hmm. AJ wins. Yep. Gallows and Anderson are at the top with their As fancy always. new duds. Yep. They got duds, they got music, They're, they exist. Giving their hoot a, a clap because mm-hmm. he won his match, mm-hmm. and we'll get to that match later mm-hmm. on the when we're doing our payback gimmick. Yes. Roman and Usos. Yep. Usos like, see, they got he's got his boys, you got us, that type you know, stuff. I understand that the, the Usos call everybody Us, mm-hmm. but in this promo they said it like 40 times. Listen, and that's I was just so sick that, of listening I know, to it. but that's just them. I, I guarantee you, in real life, they say oos like a thousand times. I'm sure they do, but I it's don't like know. someone says bro to like yeah. Zack Ryder well, says bro again, way too fucking much. That bothers me. I know. Like I, I really hate when people say bro and oos is turning into it. Yeah, it's just, like, I'm just like, dude, are you seriously fucking saying that? Uh, oh, it was driving me insane. I, I don't know why. It was just one of those things. It was like it started twisting my my you know my nerves a little bit. I'm like. Shut the fuck up. Well, that's how Ugh. that family talks. So. I understand. Still oh. annoying. All right. I'm allowed to you're, be annoyed. You racist. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a Moen and you're not. So, therefore, no. Boo. Boo this man. No. Boo this oos. <laughs> <laughs> wow. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, no. Either way, you what reached else? way too far for that one. Not really. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> moving on. New Day. Yes. Shout out to Prince. Yes. 
cool. Yeah, I so like then that. the VOD villains immediately snatch that. Yep. 